Good morning. We are here together today to celebrate this momentous occasion, the groundbreaking for the new Belmont Public Library. I'm Claire Colburn and I'm the chair of the Library Building Committee. I'm Kathy Cohane. I'm uh, chair of the Library Board of Trustees and we are together so excited to be here with you all on this wonderful day. Thank you. <laughs> wow. What a day, and what a day, but what a day. <laughs> My name is Claire Colburn, and I'm the chair of the Library Building Committee. We are so happy to be celebrating the groundbreaking of this momentous project with all of you. There is not enough time to thank everybody who has helped bring this project to fruition. There's not enough time to thank the town administration, police, fire, facilities, and planning, or the select board, both past and present. There's not enough time to thank Peter Struzero and Lauren Fender of the library. Or all the effort of the trustees and the friends. Or Will Brownsberger and Dave Rogers, who have supported this project throughout the. Yeah. There he is. We are so thankful for the wildly successful Yes Vote and fundraising campaigns, as well as for the Library Foundation, sorry, the, the Belmont Library Foundation, the BLF which was established 21 years ago with the charge of getting a new library. <laughs> I want to specifically thank Marcy Shorehorsch, who has been working for 20 years to this end. And she, yeah. and there she is. And she continues her efforts uh, by being on the BLF committee and also on the uh, library uh, building committee. I want to personally thank the library building committee for all the support and effort that they have put in, both past and current members. S specifically two people I want to draw attention to. Um, Sally Martin, who has been instrumental in keeping us on track financially. There she is. <laughs> And Kathy Cohane, Chair of the Trustees, who has been with this project every step of the way. And for our many partners, GNR Construction, who will be building the library, uh, CHA, who is our owner's project manager, who has been uh, educational and um, helpful and supportive to the committee and myself specifically, to CHA, I'm sorry, to <laughs> Odin Zello um, and the design team uh, for listening so attentively and designing such a beautiful and sustainable building. And on the note of sustainability, I just want to mark this occasion because three weeks ago, we permanently capped the gas main uh, that used to serve the library because the new library will be uh, electrically, you know, all electric building. <laughs> there are many corporate partners that have helped us as well. And I want to specifically thank the Belmont Savings Bank Foundation in particular, who provided a very generous donation. There is certainly not enough time to thank the 991 donors that helped us with our corporate sponsors get to the $5 million in donations that we put towards the project to offset the money to the taxpayers. I have two short stories to share with you that I think 
uh, help to explain the impact um, on this project that this future project will have and that the previous library had. About 15 years ago, a single mother moved to Belmont with her twin toddlers. She would regularly bring her kids to the library, the train. <laughs> it's going to stop. Um, so that they could read and have support um, and, and have access to the programs that the library provides. She reached out last week and provided us with a, a very generous donation and her story. The second occurred about five years ago at town meeting when we were there drumming up support and interest for, for, the, uh, for the library for the vote. I had two middle school kids come up to me and hand me, I, I always get choked up. <laughs> they handed me each uh, a $10 bill. Now this money, no doubt, was saved or given to them that morning with the idea of buying funnel cakes or tickets to rides or the dunk tank, but they chose to put it towards the future library. So whether they are here today physically or not, they are here. Their stories and everybody else's are embedded into the design and the programs and the fabric of your new Belmont Public Library. Thank you so much for your incredible support. That message is so on target because there just isn't enough time to thank everyone who's contributed not only to this building but just to the sustained capital program that this community has undertaken over the past 25 30 years replacing buildings that needed to be replaced decades earlier when we uh, when we built the fire stations in 2005 bob mclaughlin read a report in town meeting recommending that they re be replaced. The date of that report was 1940. Uh, <laughs> and so this, this town has, you know, this, this generation of volunteer leaders partnering with our wonderful professional staff has driven a program of capital upgrade and improvement and replacement that was just very fundamentally necessary to being the community we, we want to be. And I was, I, was, I was so happy to vote on, uh, on Monday night to move the rig forward. I'm so happy to be here today with, at this milestone where we're breaking ground. Uh, I'm so happy to partner with Dave Rogers and the legislator to, legislature to support it in a small way. But there's really so much effort, so many problems solved in each one of these pro projects, every one of them complicated, emotionally difficult. People just keep fighting through them, keep driving through them we keep driving through them as a community bringing us to this point today so there are just so many people to thank uh, in so many different roles and um, it's just very special to be part of a community that is able to work together and keep moving through a program like this with this incredible milestone just glad to be a small part of it good morning what a wonderful day what an honor and a privilege to come together at this moment when we finally break ground on this project that has been a labor of love by so many of you for so many years. I regularly remark that Belmont runs on the backs of its dedicated, talented, professional volunteers. The town literally could not afford to pay for the time and expertise that so many of you donate as a labor of love for this town and this community. To honor the duration and diligence of the volunteers who have brought us to this moment, I would like to remind all of us of the path that brought us here today. In 2016, Belmont commissioned a library feasibility study, which concluded that the former building was, quote, a poor candidate for innovation, close quote. As Kathy Cohane once remarked, the foundation was shot, the walls were shot, and the roof was shot. Building staff had to check the non-compliant elevator at the end of each day to make sure that no one was stuck inside. 
I was personally convinced that we needed a new building when I watched video footage of the cement slab foundation during a rainstorm. As air rapidly bubbled up on the outside of the foundation, water seeped up on the inside. In 2017, town meeting authorized the appointment of a library building committee, which spent two years evaluating the former library's building infrastructure and usage data, meticulously gathering information and conducting significant community outreach. On November 12, 2019, the Library Building Committee and architects from Odin's LO Architecture presented final schematic designs which reflected their extensive research and presented a library building that will meet the needs of Belmont residents for generations to come. Beginning in 2021, the Building Committee and the Library Foundation conducted a very successful fundraising drive that preceded an affirmative townwide vote in November of 2022. Total funds raised now exceed $5 million and will defray the construction costs otherwise borne by Belmont taxpayers. Today we see bare ground in front of us, but the library remains one of the town's core institutions. Thanks to the creativity of the library staff and trustees and the active cooperation of town administration and various department heads, the library continues to function with the children's room at the Benton Library and adult services in the Beach Street Center. Belmont residents deeply value the services that the library offers, and we continue to see strong community uh, usage of library services in our temporary space. When the new building comes online, even those who have not been consistent users of the library may be inspired to rediscover what the library offers in a welcoming state-of-the-art facility. Our new library will offer, offer many fundamental municipal services, from information to education to safety such as serving as a cooling center on dangerously hot summer days. However, perhaps its most important service will be to foster an ongoing sense of community as town demographics change and we seek means of greater connection and belonging. With ongoing changes in Belmont's demographics, the library will continue to evolve to meet those needs of all its residents. On May 3rd, 2023, Surgeon General Vivek Murthy released an advisory calling attention to the public health crisis of loneliness, isolation, and a lack of social connection in our country. Loneliness and isolation contribute to mental health challenges, and lacking connection significantly increases the risk of premature death. From young to old, we each need a place where we can belong. We need to connect with one another, and the new library will allow this to happen. Organizations seeking space in which to meet, or adults of any age who simply need to see a friendly face. It will be a linchpin of the town's completely renovated academic and recreational center. So thank you to the many individuals and organizations who have brought us to this moment. The Library Board of Trustees, the Belmont Library Foundation, the Belmont Library Building Committee, Friends of the Belmont Public Library, Belmont Library staff, the town administrator and her staff, and every one of you. Congratulations on reaching this critical milestone. And again, thank you. Hi there, Kathy Cohane, Chair of the Library Board of Trustees and joined by Peter. Come on, come on over here. Uh, we'll, we'll just be very brief, but I brought with me the torch. Um, as folks know, we use this at the closing ceremony. And to me, this symbolizes three things, journey, individual performance and teamwork. We are on a journey. We are at this milestone. I'm delighted and thrilled to be sharing it with all of you. Individual performances, we've talked about the different groups that have partnered to make this happen. Uh, and we wouldn't be here without that strong support. Teamwork, most of all, this has been a labor of love and effort by many, many teams individuals working together to make this happen. Claire and Elizabeth and, and Will mentioned a few of them. I want to highlight a few others. Uh, Mike Widmer, I don't know where Mike is. Um, Mike Widmer, as folks know as our moderator, uh, helped select the composition of, of our building committees, but first our feasibility team. And, and that was, he was instrumental in helping us get the right individuals with the right talents on that team. He did so as well with the building committee. Claire, 
we, with your architectural expertise, we, you are an incredible resource to the building committee and we would not be where we are without your efforts and talents. So thank you both very much. <laughs> Lastly, the, the most important team is twofold. One, Peter and the library staff for all they do to make the library such a valuable, engaging place. So thank you all for everything you do in, in the past and some not so great spaces currently and compromised spaces. I can't wait to see what you can do in our new space. So thank you, Peter and team, for everything that you do for us. And lastly, I want to I want to thank the residents and the patrons of the library, not all of which are residents of Belmont. You have made us the 10th best circulating library in the state of Massachusetts. We are the little train that could uh, behind giants of Newton and others, but it's because of your love for the library and what it means to you uh, that has put us in that position. We can't wait to see you engage and take advantage of all the things that we'll be able to offer in the new library. So thank you and come on this journey with us. Thank you. Just very briefly, um, it's hard to follow all those great speeches. If you, if you went and spoke to any of the people that have been thanked this morning, from regional leaders to town governments, the town department heads, our library foundation, our friends group, our building committee, the trustees, uh, all, all, all the people that have been part of this journey, all the people that have been part of this team, they'd all say the same thing. They'd say, oh, I've just been a small part of this journey. It's a team effort. Um, and I would say the same for myself. Every team needs leaders, though. Um, and we'll need, we'll need leaders in the future for future projects, for future efforts that have yet to begin in this town. And, and look no further for examples of great leadership than Kathy Cohane and Claire Colburn, who have been at the forefront from the beginning. So thank you to them.